Hello guys and welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother and today we are going to be talking about the episode after ZZ and Marisha's shocking eviction from the Big Brother house. I gotta say, still feeling the loss of those two. The house isn't quite as interesting without them and I think that was very much shown through this episode. This episode really focused on everyone but Marisha and ZZ. I think Marisha and Zizi like had one or two good moments and then like the rest of it was kind of just focusing on Nikita and Fern and the whole dynamic that's between them and honestly I couldn't care less. It's a shame because I would have liked to have seen more from them in their final episode but it is what it is. There's not really much we can do about it but before we get into the episode I just want to say thank you guys very very much for the support. The videos that I've been uploading recently they've been tanking a little bit not been doing as good as I hoped and I figured that would be the case because obviously when I upload them the day after they get a lot of hits because it's the day after but when I'm uploading them a couple of days late it's not quite as good so thank you guys for sticking with it if you are watching make sure to like comment and subscribe do all that YouTube stuff that you guys do so well we're on our way to 800 subscribers which is crazy so just keep on going it's great that we're even getting that close, so just make sure we're keeping on going. So, without much further ado, let's get into the episode, shall we? So, the first thing I'm going to talk about was the aftermath of the argument. Now, as we saw last night, Nikita and Fern got into a little bit of an argument, a little bit of a tiff, a little bit of a spat over a comment that Nikita made about Fern's stripy top. I think... Nikita, no, let me start with Fern actually. I think Fern took it the wrong way and took offence from it when I don't think there was necessarily offence to be taken. But then Nikita took her being like, listen, this kind of bugged me. Just, I just wanted to make you aware of it so that we can move past it and I, it's no longer a burden on me. And Nikita took that as starting an argument and I very much didn't feel like Fern was trying to start an argument. I just think she got a little bit little bit tipsy, a little bit too honest, and sort of told Nikita how she felt about the situation. I don't think either of them particularly handled the situation well, and I think it was just disappointing because it just made me, I was watching the episode and it just made me go, oh, I kind of want them both to leave because I don't actually like either of them that much um, compared to the other housemates. And the fact that Zizi and Marisha went was like, really? Really? Those two, when you've got like Fern and Nikita right there, Mr. Bland and Miss Potts. What what's the what's the teacup? Not the teacup, the teapot in um is it Mrs. Cogsworth? No, surely not. The 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 teapot from Beauty and the Beast. That's who Fern reminds me of. That's that's who she really, really reminds me of. And yeah, I don't know. I'm kinda just I'm kinda just done with this series in the nicest way possible. I think the problem is is that you've evicted everyone who was making the series interesting and you're kind of just left with David and Louis that are trying their best, trying their best to make entertaining content. But I, honestly, I didn't have a lot to talk about in this episode. Like, not much happened. There was just loads of random conversations and not anything worth talking about. So... Yeah, it's a shame. It is what it is. There's not really much else to say about this topic. I think the argument was just a bit ridiculous. Um, Nikita and Fern hadn't hugged to ease the tension, so David and Bradley were like, oh, no, not good. Not good at all. Not, no, you've got to go. And then Fern was talking about Nikita in the diary room being like, I don't think he's interested in me. And so, like, I just don't think we're going to get on. And I was like, oh, Everyone's so dramatic. All like <laughs> this whole thing was just so dramatic for absolutely no reason. This is this is why like I I want to I want to go into the Big Brother house because I want to I want to feel what this intensity is because I don't know about you, but I reckon I could do at least 3 weeks being cut off from the outside world. I think I'd be, I'd struggle without my phone, but I wouldn't struggle not seeing people. I've got people in the house. It's not like I'm completely isolated. Like I can, I can go about seeing my friends for a couple of weeks. Like I'll be texting them. Yeah. But like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I could do it and I wouldn't struggle in that sense. Yeah. I don't know. Let's move on. Let's move on. 
So Colson had an interesting conversation about doing the Coronation Street tour. Um, I went to the Coronation Street tour back when it was the old tour i'm pretty sure because i'm sure that they now open up the set at the weekends like the actual set um which is quite cool i think but i went to the old one where they had all the interior sets they had the exterior you got to walk around and it was quite cool um but they didn't do sort of meet and greets back then but apparently now at the weekends one actor comes and like surprises everyone and does like a meet and greet with them and colson says that he's always worried that no one's going to want to see him they're all going to want to see gail platt or they're going to want to see um jack p shepherd or they're going to want to see sort of like steve they're going to want to see their favorite character and colson never feels like he's anyone's favorite character so when someone did come and go oh my god i was really hoping to see you it made him feel really special um yeah it's it's something that like I'd, i i i want to do again i don't know at some point maybe i'll leave it a couple of years because the i can't do you know i can't even remember the last time i went i've only been once i think it was like 2015 2016 something like that there was like um a couple of years on the trot where we did like some stuff for my birthday we went to the doctor who experience one year coronation street tour and Capri's world that was another thing so yeah good interesting content but once again just like a, a very short scene filled with just other random stuff i guess okay it's probably time to talk about big brothers big balls and the whole controversy around this did nikita push fern did he purposely injure her no no right let's get into this let's get into this so that the idea was that Nikita and Zizi were team captains. They had to choose their teams. Zizi ended up with Fern, Marisha and Bradley. And then the other team was the rest of the boys. So David, Louis, Nikita, Colson. They had three balloons each. And they essentially had to pop each other's balloons whilst also protecting their balloons. A little bit like capture the flag, but over quicker and with l less tactics <laughs> it was a little bit rushing gun um but it was an interesting concept but it did kind of reek of the whole sort of oh we're just gonna give them a random task to do like there was no actual point to this other than the winning team would get a chinese takeaway which I thought, hang on a minute, aren't they meant to be on, like, a basic shopping budget? Why are they getting a Chinese takeaway? Or why are they getting a takeaway of their choice? That's absolutely ridiculous. I actually can't believe it. Yeah, was was a bit of a piss take. But um, the game itself was exhilarating. It was fun. Nikita was running around. He ended up, like, pushing uh, Marisha, knocked her to the floor um, in sort of, like, the, the heat of the moment. And then... They were running to, like, running around the bedroom and Fern tripped and hit her head on one of the sort of, like, sofa things. Um, i got to say it was a nasty, it wasn't a nice fall. It was quite sort of, like, um, but it, it, was a, it was a sofa. So I feel like she, she wouldn't have any damage done to her head. She might just be a little bit concussed. That's, that's the most I reckon that would happen. Um, yeah, Nikita was a, being a bit forceful and it was sort of a bit of a wild one. And then obviously when Fern was like, oof, she was taken to the diary room where she kind of just laid down and sort of rested for a minute because like her head was pounding a bit. Um, and, then, and then Nikita goes back into the bedroom and sort of tests out the sofa by whacking his head on it and goes yeah yeah she'll be fine she'll be fine which was so random and crazy and it was just such a like an odd moment i really was like what so yeah i feel like the whole thing was kind of just one big tragedy after another because then big brother tried to get them to play again with louis and fern sitting out this time and Nikita was like, no, I refuse to play. What? And he started blasting the game. <laughs> he was like, what What kind of a stupid game makes you run around with pins? Someone could get really, really hurt. And I was just like, oh, Nikita, you're like, you're just going a bit over the, over the top at the moment. Because I think what his brain's done is his brain has gone, oh, 
this is look this looks bad for me so now i need to overcorrect and try and be like oh no i refuse to play i couldn't possibly play poor fern poor fern but like it's not that deep she's fine if if there was like genuinely something wrong she would have been taken to hospital or she or a doctor would have come in and seen her but that wasn't the case it was just an accident and fern tried telling nikita that afterwards but oh my god so then they played a second round and um Nik uh, nikita's team actually won it but it was like uh it was just it, by that point it was just done it was game over it was kind of boring and i think the fun had been sucked out of it so yeah i i just i think i just put at the end this was horrendous it wasn't a fun watch and yeah just tough is what i'd call this absolutely tough to watch not fun at all so while that task was going on earlier on in the episode we had another task which was actually a little bit more entertaining a little bit more fun and honestly i hope they do this a lot more because it is actually really really funny they called david to the diary room and was like david you have a secret mission and he got all excited again he was like not again not another one and then he was like yo what do i need to do and they were like oh we need you to start an argument and if they bite you win but then big brother had also told the other housemates david is going to be trying to start an argument with you your secret mission is to stop like not engage with him and um sort of what was it problem solve um re resolve tensions quickly um to stop arguments from breaking out so essentially they were just going they were going backwards and forwards david was really really trying to ruin the vibe in the house uh, starting arguments and everyone was like it's chill david it's all good it's all good it was genuinely one of the funniest things i've watched on the show because david was getting so frustrated when no one was biting and he was trying to get louis he was trying to get colson he was trying to get marisha he was trying to get bradley he was trying to get nikita he was trying to get fern and that's everyone in the house but zz he also tried to get zz as well which is quite funny so yeah on the whole a really really funny challenge again i don't really know what they won from it but it was just an entertaining use of the day um in an episode that was otherwise quite boring so yeah maybe maybe the tasks are good because they do just provide some entertainment in what could otherwise be quite a boring day like if nothing interesting's happened i don't want to watch a whole hour of just non-interesting things happen do you know what i mean i don't know maybe maybe i'll feel differently about it in another series but currently i'm kind of done with this series there's the finale tonight and i think it'll come down to louis or david i think if nikita makes top three that's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous who's voting for him no it's done it's done it's done it's raps it's raps it's raps so it's time to talk about marisha and zz's evictions i think they were both pleased to go i think they were ready to go i don't think either of them were willing to i i think they were wanting to stay but i think they weren't displeased with leaving i think the thing with this house is that like being evicted in the last week is fine you made it most of the way they left on tuesday night there was only three more days if that so they got the most out of the experience it sucked to see them go because they were two of my favorites ekin sue marisha david what was my top five my top five was louis zz marisha david ekinsu that was my top five that's who i thought would be in the final i was very wrong but, um at least two of them made it to the final uh which is interesting i i still like the colson has never been up for eviction so i think that's why he's still here um but it's it's tough bradley's also not been up for eviction so that could also be why he's still here nikita's obviously survived one fan survived three louis survived two and david survived one so there's clearly a support behind those four 
But with Bradley and Coulson, we're yet to find out sort of how they're going to vibe, how they're going to work it out. But yeah, on the whole, interesting, interesting, interesting. Sucks, but let's move on. So now we have a conversation about ambition versus talent. It's a very, very interesting concept, a very interesting conversation to have. Louis was like, do you think it's more important to have people who are ambitious or talented? And people were like, oh, I think it's better for ambition than talent because obviously talent can only get you so far. But I think it's the opposite, actually. I think ambition can only get you so far. If you're not talented, then you're not going to go anywhere with it. You can have all the ambitions in the world, but if you haven't got the sort of skills to back it up, then there's no, you're not going anywhere. So I think, I don't think they're mutually exclusive. You're not either talented or you're ambitious. I think most people are a, a mix of the both, but I went to uni with people who were very ambitious, but not very talented. And therefore it was very sort of like and like it's it's tough because then they weren't going anywhere with anything and then you had talented people who just lacked ambition and you were like that's such a waste and then there were people in the middle who had a generous mix of both and it was it was clear that they were going to go somewhere with it because they had the ambition but they also had the talent to back that up and you you saw it when like things like musicals were happening who would get lead roles who would get side characters who would be in the ensemble and who wouldn't get cast at all in this industry talent trumps ambition i believe personally but you've got to have ambition in order to use that talent so like I said, it's a tough, it's a tough combo to have, but very, very interesting. And then David was opening up as well, talking about his experience in secondary school. I find him fascinating. Like I said, I think I said in the last episode, I think he's wasted on IB for Weekender. I think he needs to look into other opportunities because like I never heard of him before this show, but I love him and I think he's incredible but I don't really want to watch it before we end So can you do something else, please? <laughs> can you can you please do something else so I can watch you on that? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. But that is all for the content in this episode. So let's move on to iconic quotes and moments. So I'm just going to rattle these off. There aren't many interesting moments, but there are some good things. Bradley was pretending to be American whilst Fern was saying that she was knitting for mice whilst they were cleaning the bathroom it was such a wild moment i don't really know what happened there then we had louis wanting david and bradley's numbers and then Br david was like oh i'm gonna send you loads of voice notes and louis was like nope just send me notes it's all good i don't want to i don't want voice notes um then we had louis saying uh he wants fern to go despite a couple of episodes ago saying that he wanted fern to stay and he said yeah no one will miss her <laughs> which i was like louis Louis, say how you really feel, bro. Um, and then last but not least, we had Louis ending the episode calling everyone game players, saying there are people in here who desperately want to win and he can see through their acts and it's going to start getting a little bit toxic, a little bit um, sort of gameplay and they're going to try and beat each other to the final. And I don't think he's wrong. I really don't. I think the only people that aren't that I don't think the only person who isn't playing a game is Coulson and Louis. I think those two aren't playing games. I think everybody else in the house is to some extent playing some kind of game. Maybe not Bradley. I'm going to give Bradley the benefit of the doubt, actually. But I do think Nikita, Fern and David are playing a game. David's playing a very good game. Fern and Nikita, not so much in my eyes but that is it. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next episode, which will be out tomorrow. So the plan for the next couple of days tomorrow is going to be a shock eviction who went last night. Ooh. And then Sunday I will be covering the celebrity big brother finale. I know it will be like a day or two late, but 
it's the best I can do because um, I'm away on Sunday so I needed something for then and rather than do two on Saturday and then have to rush and get another one done for Sunday I just thought I'd spread those out across the two days so thank you guys very very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and do all of that YouTube stuff that you guys do so well and I will see you guys in the next episode tomorrow so keep on ranting bye now